I said, the main obstacle on the way to progress and the integrity and the achievements proposed by Modi ji and his government, the main obstacle is what many have called minoritism. Let me repeat, minoritism. That is appeasement. That is trying to <coughs> set them against the major community. With fear psychosis driven dream into their minds, how will you make the Muslims and the Christians and the Dalit converts shed this fear? How do you make it, get it out of them? I can put it in a very broad sense like this. We have to try hard. It's an experiment to be done. We have to try very hard to make them think as Indians first. I am an Indian first, then a Muslim. I am a Christian. I am an Indian first, a Christian next. My ideology may be one among the Hindu systems of thought. I may be out of it too. I may be a Gnostic or an atheist or agnostic. But still, I shall do nothing against the interests of this country politically, socially, morally, historically and so on. Now this is some kind of swearing. This is some kind of swearing not on the constitution but on the history of this country. This is a very difficult task. Now given these mm, local satraps like Gauda, Noalu who is on the deathbed, Naidu and the the Tamil fanatics, the Udian fanatics and the CPIM fanatics both in Bengal and Kerala, how do you make them come round to this view? I shall speak very separately on the question of Udianism if there is one like that. We have to bring them to the mainstream of life not by giving them socks not by giving them um, unnecessary uh, conveniences, unnecessary benefits at the cost of the public exchequer, but by love as Moji said. Now this is a very huge ideology, winning people by love. Gandhi also said this, but he succumbed to minorityism. Nehru also said it, but succumbed to it. Christianity openly professes brotherhood of mankind, hope in the future of mankind. It professes to be a peaceful religion. Islam also says that, but their activities are otherwise, completely otherwise. Hate ideology has to go. Easily mixing up with other people in their festivals, in their social get-togethers, in educational institutions without reservation, purely on the basis of merit. Now, how do you do this? If there are separate educational institutions like the madrasas or uh, Muslim schools and colleges separate for Muslims, Christian ins institutions in the name of religious denominations, this will not be possible. Liberal education has to be promoted on a very large scale. Liberal education has to be promoted on a very large scale, let me repeat, without bringing in Macaulayism. English is good as a window to the outer road, as Raja Jivan said, but English culture is not our culture. We have to live as Indians, as Hindus, as Bharatiyas, cherishing our own history and our own great celebrities, history of Mahapurushas. But let us learn languages without sacrificing our identity. When it comes to identity, let me emphasize one thing. Islam and Christianity believe in closed identities, dead identities. Hinduism, on the other hand, believes in an open identity, an ever-growing identity, giving up unnecessary things that have been spent as forces in the past and opening our mind to the needs of the present day 
getting good ideas from everywhere on Vadraha, Kadavo Yudhishvata, as the Rigveda says. There is only one God, but that we call him by different names, as Modi emphasized it in different on different platforms, Ekam Sati, Vipra Vudavadanti. And then Makashid Dukham of Nya, Sarvesa Jana Sukino Bhavantu, Om Shantihi Shantihi Shant. This is an ideal more secular than the false secularists put together. So this ideology has to be popularized among the Muslims and the Christians, perhaps some kind of a national anthem of promoting this idea has to be introduced. There will have to be drastic changes in our educational system, in our social get-togethers and in our mentalities and uh, people have to strive hard to bring them back to the national core. Nationalism is our religion. Nationalism is greater than Christianity, Islam or Hinduism, everything put together. Nation first, other things next. That should be our motto.